Okay, just gonna work on the moco, but uh, seeing the cows all came up, they're in the south end here now. The grass is belly deep. So uh, they're out of the yard, little yard field over here. They ate that down to golf course type grass. We were feeding them in there anyways. And uh, they all came up. Oh, Panda's got her head stuck. They're trying to get at the second cut alfalfa bale. That's a couple years old. It was over here. I was hand, hand bombing it to the bulls. But uh, anyways, there's everybody. So just checking them. And then you gotta work on the moco here. Okay, so what we're doing today on the MoCo is this real tooth, pickup tooth is missing. And this one is loose, so we'll fix that. And, uh, yeah, probably just fix it. Otherwise, you got to unbolt the center flange. And I think you can keep that flange in there. So, we have to unbolt this one regardless, but I think if you just do this one, you just slip these teeth off and then it goes back on. I don't think you have to take the center flange off. We'll find out here soon. So, the new teeth are, uh, are green. I think they're actually for a 1219. I got about half green ones and then half yellow, which I, the yellow ones, I don't know if they're original. There's two guys that owned this machine before I did, so. I've had to replace the real arms. So, uh, this real arm, that real arm, and this real arm. And then that one down there is original. You can tell it's yellow, but the flanges are green. Oh, there's a yellow flange there. Yellow flange there, so. They break right here. This What happens is this nylon bushing or whatever it is wears the metal every time it turns on the cam wheel and where's the metal and then it becomes paper thin and it snaps off right here and there's 700 bucks believe it or not for that real arm and that's not with the teeth the teeth i believe are 12 dollars each there's the part number off of it from last year ae92668 so when that one snaps that should be the replacement because the teeth are offset so the first hole is i don't know so many many inches over and then the first hole is let's say another two inches over so let's call this five and this seven or close enough and then i usually put a new bearing in which is 50 bucks and then that bolt and nut in there i think is another 10 and then i have been putting new real teeth on i try and keep the new ones on this side just because yeah i have to uh unbolt the flange all the time but whatever it is what it is. It's just you're out here longer. Instead of in the tractor cutting hay. If the crappy ones happen to be on that side. And then lengthwise they're wore down. The new ones actually come and strike the, the table in the back there. You can just hear it kind of crispy kind of noise. I don't know. Snap, crackle, pop. It's a real teeth. They kind of get a little wear on them and then they stop. Uh, somebody asked me the other day about the table on this thing. Yes, it plugs all the time in that corner It's a horrible design by John Deere. I Think they eventually fixed the table. I should actually look at a picture of a 1219 But I wonder almost if they welded a bar or something So this real teeth will grab the grass because what happens is the grass not so much the alfalfa, but the grass Balls up on that knife section right there between that guard and that knife section so what I found helps is uh, if you paint your corners, it'll allow the grass to slide because this corner does the exact same thing. And what it is, this corner is not quite as bad, but what it is is this is, I don't know, two and a half inch gap. This is a considerable gap. And then same thing, massive gap, not bad, I guess, three and a half, four inch gap. So, there's no pickup teeth over there to fling the grass up the table, and it's a bad spot for it, and uh, obviously on a disc mower, you don't have that problem. I was recently bidding on two John Deere Mocos, a case, disc cutter, and then a Heston 
nine foot sickle cutter, but it was 10 years newer than this. It was 1130. But uh, I was unsuccessful on them all, so hopefully this old girl is up to the task this year. Last year was a little bit challenging for it. I think this is straightforward, but uh, you unbolt these three nuts. They're half inch. This one's 13 millimeter and half inch because it's got a goofy head design. I got these sockets years ago from my grandpa. That's how they all come. I forget what they're called. Maybe it says right there, Metrich socket set. I don't know. They're not the best. I've had them jump, especially on old fasteners if you're putting a ton of torque on them, but they're all right. You can see there's quite a bit of slop in them, but you only have to carry one socket set. Okay, there's a new tooth on it. They gotta go on the proper way. Nothing's more frustrating is when you change one of these real bars over in the field because it just snapped on you. And you put all the teeth on backwards. Put the bar in here, and then go to up all the bolts and realize all the teeth are on backwards. Anyways, not that I've done that like three times. But anyways, why go through all this trouble for one or two teeth in the middle? Because this thing likes to plug. If you give this thing a reason to plug, it'll plug. It's already frustrating enough with the mole hills and a sickle cutter because the sand will eventually sit right behind on that flat spot. And then uh, the grass won't go all the way in and get cut and it'll start tearing out. So that's why they went away from these sickle cutters. They plug all the time. So the only good thing is they're, I guess they're cheaper. Okay, I don't think you can buy one anymore. If you can, it's very rare. But they're considerably cheaper. But I've kind of only had a few acres left and broke one over here somewhere. And it's only got one finger. And you're out every 400 feet unplugging right between those knives. Because it will not flick the grass up through the conditioner rolls. And I have these things set fairly tight back to the table. You can adjust this whole thing. Mine's adjust it fairly tight to the table. So, anyways, I have the time right now, so I might as well do it. Hopefully, I save myself something. Probably not. This one over here will probably break as soon as I start cutting or something stupid. But whatever it is what it is. So, anyways, that's working on the MoCo. 